Joy Talks. Uh, busy with exercise 5.8, and I'm going to be doing number seven with you. Okay, so question 7a says prove, and we have cos 2a plus cos a over sine 2a minus sine a equals cos a plus 1 over sine a. Okay, so this is a left-hand side, right-hand side um, type of question. So on the left-hand side, we have this thing over here, which is cos 2a plus cos a sine 2a minus sine a. Then on the right-hand side, we have Cos A plus 1 over sine A. Okay, so we need to decide which side we're going to work with. So if we have a look at the right-hand side, there's not much we can really do here. I mean, we can't expand cos A, we can't expand sine A. But over here, we've got two double angles. We've got a cos 2A. So this is a sine 2A over here. We have a cos 2A. And we have a sine, 2a. So I can expand these ones. Now, the problem comes with this cos 2a. I mean, it can be one of three things, grade 12s. It can be this one, this one, or this one. So we don't know, know really which one to choose now. But I know that my sine double angle can only be one thing. So always start with that one. So I'm going to leave the numerator for now. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the denominator. So we get 2 sine A cos A minus sine A. Okay, don't do anything with the numerator just yet. Now, if I look in the denominator, I've got a common factor of sine A. Take it out as a common factor. And we've got sine A. And we're left with 2 cos A minus 1. Okay, and notice I have not touched the numerator. Just because I don't know what this cos double angle is going to be. Now, if I look on my right hand side, I've got the sine A and I've got the sine A, which is good. Okay, now all I need to do is get rid of this 2 cos A minus 1. And obviously I need to cancel it up at the top as well. And then at the top here, we just need a cos A plus 1. So that'll help me decide what I'm going to expand this one to. So if I have a look here at our cos double angle, it doesn't make sense introducing a sign because I don't have a sign up at the top here. And plus, I need to get rid of this here, which is a cos. Again, it doesn't make sense introducing this one because, again, we don't have a sign. I now need to get rid of the cos. So the one I am going to use is this cos double angle here, okay? So this now becomes 2 cos squared A minus 1 plus cos A. And this bit here was my expansion of my cos double angle, okay? What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to rearrange things highest power of cos down to the lowest. So we get 2 cos squared A plus cos A minus the 1. Now, when I get something like this, grade 12s, I like to use a little substitution. So wherever I see, for example, a cos, now it doesn't make a difference what the angle is. I don't really care. I make that an x. Wherever I see a sine, I make it a y. Okay, so in this case here, 2 cos squared A will now become 2x squared. Plus cos A will become plus x, and then we have the minus 1. Now, if I gave you guys this, you could clearly see that this is a trinomial. 
which you can factorize, and it would become 2x minus 1, x plus 1. Okay, and that is what I'm going to factorize this one as. So wherever I see an x now, I'm going to replace it with a cos a. So we get here 2 cos a minus 1, cos a plus 1. all over sine a 2 cos a minus 1, which is the denominator there, okay? Now, have a look here. This 2 cos a minus 1 will cancel with this 2 cos a minus 1, and we are left with cos a plus 1 over sine a. Okay, and that is equal to our right hand side. And again, grade 12s, please show your conclusion like this whether it's the left hand side or the right hand side, you must say that it's equal to that other side. Okay, so we've proved that that is equal to that. Then going on to question B of this question. Question B is saying. Use A to show that cos four theta plus cos two theta over sine four theta minus sine two theta is equal to 1 over tan theta. Okay, again, it's a left-hand side, right-hand side situation, so I'm just going to break that down. So on the left-hand side, we have cos 4 theta plus cos 2 theta over sine 4 theta minus sine 2 theta. On the right hand side, we have 1 over tan theta. Okay, so I'm going to look at both sides. You can work with both sides. And I can see that this tan theta, I can change to sine over cos. So I would always change things to sine and cos, grade 12. So it makes it a lot easier to solve these type of questions. So that's what I'm going to do here, is I'm going to make this equal to 1 over sine theta over cos theta. And I've just changed the tan to be that, okay? So I can write this in another way. This is 1 divided by sine theta over cos theta, which is equal to 1 times. Then you tip and times it cos theta over sine theta and this is equal to cos theta over sine theta okay so that is what we're trying to get this thing to now it's saying that we must use our results in question a all right now from question a we've got that this thing is equal to that thing okay so i'm just going to rewrite that underneath this one here so we know that cos 2a plus cos a over sine 2a minus sine a is equal to cos a plus 1 over sine a. Right, that's what we proved in question a. So what we need to do now is we need to find the link between this one and this one. So if we have a look here, we've got this angle is very similar to this one here. We've got 2a, 2a, 4 theta, 4 theta, 2a, 2a. Then over here, we've got 2 theta, 2 theta, a and a, all right, which is going to be the same here. So have a look, a, a, which is that and that. So basically what I can do is I can adapt this one to this one here. 
and I can use what it's equal to just to simplify this to make it look a little bit easier. So as you can see that obviously this one is double that one, this one is double that one, again this one is double that one, this one is double that one, and it's always the smaller one, the one that we proved, it's the smaller one that goes over here. So our smaller one now is 2 theta, and it looks exactly the same. We've got cos plus cos, cos plus cos, sine minus sine, sine minus sine. So I can definitely use this. So this will now become cos, and it's the smaller of the angle, which is the 2 theta, plus 1 over... sine of the smaller angle, which is 2 theta, so we get sine 2 theta. So what I've done is I have changed this hectic looking one to something that we can use. And now we've got these double angles, and again, I can use our double angle formulas. Now again, grade 12s, we have a problem with the cos, okay? I don't know which one it can be, it can be one of these three, so I'm just going to use the sine double angle for now because it can only be one thing so at the bottom I'm going to leave the top at the bottom we get 2 sine a cos a if I look at my right hand side now there's my sine a and I've got my sine a so this is a theta not an a okay so I've got my sine theta and I've got my sine theta, all right? What I need to get rid of now is this 2 cos theta, and I also need to introduce a cos up at the top. So that'll help me figure out what I need to change this one to. Also, I need to get rid of this constant. So if I have a look here, I'm not going to introduce a sine because we don't need the sine up at the top. Again, I don't need the sine over here. If I introduce this one here, that minus 1 will cancel with that, which is good. And we've only got it in terms of cos, and that is what we want up at the top, is just the cos. So I'm going to change this one to 2 cos squared theta minus 1 plus 1. So we expanded this to be this. All right. Then the 1s will cancel, minus 1 plus 1, they'll cancel, and we're left with 2 cos squared theta over 2 sine theta cos theta. The 2s will cancel. 1 cos will cancel with 1 cos there, and we are left with cos theta over sine theta, which is equal to our right-hand side. Again, grade 12s, please show this conclusion. All right, guys.